please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. 7 Things You Should Never Do On A First Date, Some Are Life-Saving First dates can be difficult since we never know what to anticipate. The options in this list range from severe to optional, but they all rank according to importance in some way. The options in this video range from severe to optional, but they all rank according to importance in some way. These concerns are to be addressed seriously, whether it involves whining throughout the date or more serious circumstances. Women must exercise extraordinary caution while meeting strangers and going on dates since the number of serious crimes committed in the United States is more than it has ever been. It's crucial to not be terrified of meeting new people, but dates should always approach cautiously when it comes to the first time meeting someone. I even advise telling your best friend where you're going on your first date so they can phone the cops if they send you a message and you don't reply. These suggestions should assist keep you informed, even if they don't guarantee everyone's safety. We can never be too careful when it comes to going on a date with these straightforward advice, from the more usual to items that are a safety precaution. There is no such thing as being too cautious, especially because we use dating apps to meet new people all the time. In this type of circumstance, the adage, better safe than sorry, is highly applicable. Have a good time and hopefully you'll meet the one. 1. Complain. Even on a first date, when two people genuinely click, it's simple to let our guard down and speak up about many elements of our lives that most people aren't overly interested in. It is so simple to fall into a whining mood about aspects of our lives that we are simply sick of dealing with. Although it's admirable that you feel so open and honest, it's often advisable to hold back when it comes to criticizing because you risk coming across as ungrateful or simply bratty. It's never enjoyable to hear someone whine about their job or a coworker, and this applies to everyone, regardless of how many dates you've had. Complaining just serves to add a negative energy to the table in the conversation, making even you feel sad. Who would want it, anyway? Instead, make an effort to focus on all the good things in your life. 2. Talk about intimacy. Things might sometimes go a little too quickly, especially if you feel the need to relate to a guy by discussing what happens in the bedroom. Please don't. If both parties agree, great, do whatever suits you. However, if you push the conversation in that direction only because you want to pique his attention, it will be for the wrong reasons. That will only result in him calling you back for a booty call, or he won't call you back at all. It's crucial to understand that not all guys have the bedroom on their minds, and that most of the time if you bring it up just to relate to him. It will most likely result in a situation where you become friends with benefits. Instead, try discussing each other's interests and aspirations, keep the conversation going by asking probing questions that truly get people thinking. 3. Lie. Lying is never appropriate in conversation, let alone on a date. Although you can feel the urge to lie to make someone feel better about themselves or to appear more put together, this is not the best course of action. First of all, lying is never acceptable in any circumstance, but it's especially bad if it happens on a first date. What kind of first impression is that? I'm aware that I wouldn't want to have it. Instead, as I previously indicated, discuss your aspirations with your date, where you want to be in five years, and how you see yourself developing in the future. We're always evolving and our goals are always expanding, so there's no problem with it. Don't lie to make it appear like you've accomplished your life already. Just be sincere, and you'll develop a precious relationship with someone. 4. Get a salad. Obtain whatever you desire. Many women, whether out of nervousness or because they don't want to appear as someone who actually eats, feel the need to order anything little when out on a date. Whether you feel compelled to get the salad even though you really want apps and a steak dinner. Just keep in mind that if he rejects you because you were eating on the first date, forget about him and enjoy that steak. If you ever run into a guy who thinks a woman should order something light while he enjoys a full dinner for any reason, he has to back off, and I advise you to look forward to a different date. It is absurd that misogyny may even come down to what we want to eat on a first date, there is no need for men to control the decisions we make. 5. Go home with him. Being safe is far preferable to being regretful. No matter how reliable he may seem on a first date, just don't go home with him just yet. It's quite difficult to really know the truth about someone even after a first date because of all the ways we meet people online and the abundance of dating apps and websites. When he first meets you, he can seem like the most captivating person on the globe, but there's so much more to a person than we could ever learn through dinner alone. 
This is about your safety and the security of the relationship you're attempting to establish, not about getting close or having a one-night stand since it is entirely up to you. The very last thing we would want is for him to start calling you whenever he needs a booty call out of this. We're not striving for a relationship like that, are we? So that you two may get to know one another better, propose a second date instead. 6. Moving too fast. It's very feasible for him or you to be swept off our feet and begin fantasizing about the future, even if it's with someone you just met. It's not uncommon to try to imagine your life with this potential life partner, and some people aren't afraid to act on such thoughts. They don't stay silent in your thinking, they come out of your mouth. The other person will typically feel trapped and afraid of making too much commitment for too few reasons when this occurs. I advise you to exercise caution and to simply savor the present. Don't worry about whether or not it will turn out well, instead, focus on having fun and being authentic. Just do the same thing and indicate that you want to enjoy the moment as it is right now if he brings up the future or starts to speak too quickly. It will be a gentle reminder. 7. Let him come home with you. In line with what was suggested earlier, just be careful. Giving the date your address on a first date is one of the worst mistakes you can do. In the event that they turn out to be a bad person, it could draw a lot of negativity into your life. Offer to meet them there rather than having your date pick you up to go out to dinner. It shouldn't be a problem, and if it is, your date may not be the right one for you because they don't seem to get why you'd prefer stay safe. Simply text them or give them a call to let them know what you have planned. You'll discover that ultimately you'll feel secure enough and have developed enough trust that visiting each other at home won't be a problem. That will give you both a better opportunity to get to know one another before things get more serious.